<laughs> we slid down Cherokee Road, spinning in a full 180 degrees, off the road, inches from a tree. Then, Will Madsen and I thought of a genius idea, thought of a genius idea of going for a drive on a snow day. That led to us sliding about 20 feet straight into the ditch. Lastly, I managed to slide my car directly into a telephone pole, completely ruining my front bumper. Now, how does this relate to tennis? Well, the lecture I received was, just like in tennis, you play like you practice. If I practiced driving on icy roads with irresponsible friends and getting into accidents, I would take that experience and use it all on my own. I hate to say it, but he was right. Rule number three, if you work hard, you can play hard. Academics have always been my parents' priority. They are perfectly aware that as an upperclassman in high school, I have to fulfill my duty of being a social teenager. I understand that if I get my work done, I should have the freedom to do as I please. Due to my copacetic schoolwork, they went as far as let me have a small winter break social gathering my junior year. They let me have as many pupils as I wanted come, although it was short-lived, it was a blast while it lasted. <laughs> it, it turned out to be one of the most memorable nights in high school. As long as I maintain my schoolwork, I'm able to have fun with my friends. It can be difficult with the course load given at collegiate, but they push me to do well and enable me to have their trust to do all sorts of exciting things. Rule number four, suck it up. From many stories told by my parents, I quickly learned when they were my age, they had to walk to school uphill both ways, play tennis with more injuries, had harder classes, and didn't have as understanding parents as I did. So their solution to everything, suck it up. <laughs> Broken heel, suck it up. <laughs> Getting a rock shot into your, to my shin with a three-man water boom launcher, suck it up, Ian, you don't need stitches. <laughs> Baseball bat to the forehead, suck it up. <laughs> Lots of schoolwork, suck it up. The gist of this fourth and final rule was I was to receive absolutely no sympathy from my parents. <laughs> These four rules have worked wonders for me in my last two years. Junior and senior year have played a major role and molding me into the guy I am today. Granted, these are not the only rules I had to abide by, but they set guidelines for my actions. Rules are important, but it's not necessarily a bad thing if you break them. I'm no angel. I may have broken a rule here or there, but what's important is if you are capable of learning from them. I push these rules to their boundaries and find a perfect balance of what's acceptable and unacceptable. Going to college next year, I believe I properly prepared myself for what's soon to come. I will make my own decisions without consulting my parents and without rules to think about. So my parting advice is to have fun in high school. Take risks when necessary. This is your time to make your mistakes as long as you can learn from them. Thank you.